hi guys welcome to my channel my name is indifon tui and today i'll be teaching you how to pad your princess that this video is a continuation to a video that i posted a while back on how to cut a princess that um this video is a continuation um is made in, as a, a part two of that video um if you like the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe i post contents like this every wednesday and saturday so if you are interested in sewing you should consider subscribing so as you can see i have all my parts of my of my bodies i have my princess that i'm going to cut a lining for all these parts i'm going to cut the lining to be the exact same thing now i'm making the top for a nursing mother so i'm putting the zip space in front but if um, you the method i would show you to, um, in this video can be used for um, anything that you are drafting it can apply to whatever you are doing even if your zip space is at the back so like i said i'm going to cut um, lining for all the three pieces that i had my um, my front that's my side the side of my front and um my back my side of the front center and the back so as you can see now i'm cutting lining for my center front now the next part that i cut my lining for was for the side my um, the side of my front now um, the lining i'm using here is cotton lining i in my opinion it gives me a better finish it's more it's a lot easier to handle so i i recommend that you guys use cotton lining too it's a bit more expensive than regular lining so you should take that into consideration so now i have cut my lining for all the sides of my front um i'm going to cut my lining for the back <clears throat> so please do not forget i'm cutting my lining to be the exact same style exact same size sorry with my fabric i'm not taking anything away from it now it's time for the padding now i'm going to be using um two different interfacings for for my padding i'm going to use knitted inter um, knitted fusible interfacing but in nigeria we call it estate so if you're a nigerian if you go to the market ask them for estate now this is fusible fleece interfacing but in nigeria we call it wadding so if you're a nigerian ask for wadding when you go to the market not the heavy one the medium width now the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to cut my um interfacing i'm going to cut my knitted interfacing for the side of my of my front i'm going to cut it the exact same size with the side the side of the front i'm cutting it the exact same size for the side of the front the next part i'm going to cut is i'm going to cut my knitted interfacing for my center front i'm cutting the exact same size I'm not reducing it by anything. So now I'm simply just dividing my zip space because remember I told you guys that my zip space is in front. So as you can see, I like using SDA one time at the back of my of my bodies to give my fabric some stabilization. I would recommend that you do the same too. Please, if you do not understand the patterns that I have drafted here, I recommend that you watch my video on how to draft a princess. That it will really, really um, give it will give you a lot of insight into what's going on here. Now that I'm, when I'm done, it's time to iron. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, turn to the back side of my fabric where I, where I marked. 
and then I will take the rough side of my of my fusible interfacing the side that has the adhesive it's, it's, it's a bit rough to the touch so I'm going to take the rough side of my interfacing and I'm going to make it face the wrong side of my fabric I'm going to place the wrong side of my interfacing facing the wrong side of my fabric I'm going to simply just iron it on as you can see so I'm going to do the same thing to both sides of the center of the front and then the next thing I'm going to do is to iron for sorry the side of my front and then now I'm ironing for the center front so remember it's still the same thing placing the part of the um, interfacing that has the adhesive and I'm simply ironing it on I'm going to do this step for both sides of my front I'm going to come from my underboss length and mark half inch up that point is very very important if you have watched a video on how to that a princess or how to draft a princess that it would it would, you would know what I was doing there but I'm going to explain that part later on in the video now I'm going to do the same thing ironing the wrong side of my fusible interfacing to the back of my fabric the wrong side of my of my fabric Now I'm going to cut my fusible interfacing from that from that from where um, the curve ends all the way up to the armhole. I'm going to cut four times. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my fabric on my on my fusible interfacing and I'm going to cut a template. Now this template is what I'm going to use to cut the rest of my of my interfacing. Now please do not get confused, um, I'm going to use um, my interfacing and SD interchangeably. So as you can see, I folded my fabric, my um, SD, four times. Sorry, I cut it eight times. Then I'm going to place the templates that I, that I cut on top of that and then I'm going to just cut it. I'm going to cut all of them at the same time. Then, now it's time to pad. I'm going to take the side of my front, place it down. From where the curve ends, I'm going to place my fusible interfacing on top of it like that four times. With the, with, please do not forget, do not make the mistake, the adhesive should face the rough part of the interfacing should face the wrong side of your fabric where you iron the first base now i'm going to place my interfacing on top of it four times as you can see in the video and i'm going to sprinkle some water onto it then i'm going to iron Please be very gentle with it. Don't don't go crazy. <laughs> Take your time and do this so that you don't end up making a mistake or um, having the front part of your fabric having uh, with um, a lot of air. Take your time and iron it. Now I'm going to turn to the front and I'm going to cut the excess. I'm going to turn to the front and cut the excess. Um, interfacing that we have please be careful not to not to destroy the pattern the original pattern I'm just cutting the excess i'm not cutting the fabric itself then i'm going to press my iron to make sure that i i activate all the adhesive and i don't have any air or puffiness or anything like that when i'm done with that side i'm going to do the same thing to the other side now when we are done with ironing the SD on both sides, we will take our uh, fleece fusible interfacing, um, exactly as you can see, you can see through to the other side, keep it on, on the line where our first interfacing stopped, 
and then simply just iron it on please the fusible interfacing also has um, a side that has an adhesive make sure that you place that facing the fabric so that you don't ruin the interfacing and ruin the face of your iron fusible um, fleece fusible interfacing is a bit it's a bit thick so you have to take your time and put the iron on so that the heat gets to the other side now I'm going to do the same thing I did before simply just going to cut off the excess I'm going to iron it one more time because like I said fus um, fusible fleece interfacing is is very very thick so you have to take your time and place it on top just fine tuning the edges I'm just going to fine tune the edges so that's what we have I'm going to do the exact same thing on that side now I'm done with both sides of the side of my front The next thing I'm going to do is to cut SA for the center piece of the front. Earlier in the video, I made a mark at that point. That point, the point that was below was um, the underboss length. We're going to come up by half inch. Please see the video. See the video and have to draft the princess that it would, it would make it a lot clearer. Now I'm going to part from that top line to the top of my of my armhole. Okay. So like we did before, I'm going to place place my fabric, my side of the front onto my interfacing and I'm going to cut a template that I'll use to cut all the other templates. Now I kept the interfacing to be on the line that is the, the top line, not the underboss length. Now I'm going to need four interfacings on both sides like we did on the side. So I need to cut eight pieces of the interfacing. After I'm done cutting it, I'm going to just place it on top like that. I'm going to place it four times like I did before. When I'm done placing them one on top of the other, I'm going to iron. Use some water to make the entire process a lot easier for you. Take your time and iron it. Enjoy the process. When I'm done with that, I'm going to cut off the excess in the, um, interfacing that, that we have, just like I did for the side. I hope you're enjoying the background music. I really took my time looking for looking for these songs for y'all. next thing we're going to do is to cut the wording for for the center of our front the center front we're going to do exactly what we did before you have to take your time when you're ironing infusible fleece interfacing because it's very very thick and please remember when you go to the market if you want to try this yourself if you're in nigeria ask them for wording because the guys that sell 
these things do not know um, they don't need like feasible interfacing or feasible fleece interfacing when you go they ask them for wording if you're looking for this If you watch the video this far, I thank God that you're enjoying the content please don't forget to subscribe now I'm going to join the side of the front to the center of the front at half an inch I'm joining the side of the front to the center of the front at half an inch So now that I'm done, it's time to iron. So these are both sides of my front. I'm going to come to that point where I placed my SD, my feasible interfacing and my fleece feasible interfacing from. I'm going to come to that point and I'm going to make a notch. I'm going to spread, make it lay flat. I'm going to take my time and press it so it's flat and I'm going to take some of my knitted fusible my knitted fusible interfacing my SD and I'm going to place it over and secure it please take your time when you're ironing this make sure everything lays, lays flat so you don't have any air on the front side of the, the fabric This video is um, part of a series on how to make a petlum top. Um, check out the playlist if you want to see the whole top. So I'm going to use my um, breast ball. I'm going to use my breast ball and I'm going to place it under my princess that. I'm going to do the same thing I did to the down part. I will spread and I would iron it so that it lays flat. I'm going to spread it, make it lay flat. Then I'm going to lay my 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 este on top of the princess dot and I'm going to do the same thing I did at the bottom part. I'm going to iron it so that it helps us keep the um, princess that the journey that we that we ironed already. The este will help us make it lay flat so that it doesn't close up over time. I prefer doing this instead of um, stitching it flat 
with uh, my machine because I feel it gives the front a, a, a cleaner look. When I'm sewing, I don't like having a lot of lines showing in front of the in front of um of the of my top or whatever I'm making because I feel it makes it uh, too many lines make it look a bit dirty. So my principle is the fewer lines the better. The fewer visible lines the better. That's why I like taking my time to use the SA to bind it and hold it flat as opposed to stitching um, the place that I that I iron flat. When I'm done, I'm going to turn to the front. I'm going to just iron everything so that it lays properly, so that it's flat and smooth. So we're just ironing around the curve. If you've watched this far, I greatly appreciate you and thank you for taking out time to watch my content. I'm going to simply now join my lining the same way I did um, to my princess that the fabric part of my princess that. So I'm just joining the parts together. such beautiful hands you know I never knew my hands are so beautiful Jesus Christ look at my skin bro look at my skin bro damn to push the excess to the to one side that's the, the side of the front and then I'm going to just stitch it flat so for, um, on the lining I'm not going to iron I'm not going to iron uh, my feasible interfacing to make it flat I'll actually stitch on the lining <laughs> sorry my thread snapped so I'm stitching on the side of my lining I'm not going to use the fusible interfacing to make my lining to lay flat So this is the final result. If you if you've done everything that I have told you to, right from um, how to draft it to how to pad it and how to stitch it, this is the result you're going to get. Um, this is a photograph of the actual um, top that I made for the client. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Please don't forget to subscribe.